hello friends in this video i will show you how to create sliding pane layout in sketchware so here i have created a sliding pane layout in which the left layout contains a list view and when any of the items is clicked it display the item in the right view along with its description so i will show you how to create this in sketchware here this is the left pane this is the right pane and yeah, this list view is in left pane. So let's see how to do this in Sketchware. In Sketchware, in main.xml, I have a linear one with padding equal to zero. Then I have a custom view, right underscore pane.xml, which contains text view one and text view two. In events, I have created a map variable map and a list map called map list then i have these more blocks fragment one fragment two create list and extra so in create list first i clear the map list then i create a new map after that i put key title with its value and then i put key value with its value which is description of the title and then I add this map variable to list map in the same way I add items to list map in total nine items are added with title and value keys so I use this in on create on create I create list after that I have this more block extra where first I close this more block then I declare a public static sliding pane layout called pane pane is a static sliding pane layout then i define a static fragment one called one and a static fragment two called two these fragment one and fragment two are classes which i have defined later then i have a static string list which is called array list string called title list so it is title list is a string list another string list is description list after that i have defined a static method static void method called set texts with string a and string b and it is defined as two dot update texts a and b here two is the fragment two and update texts is a method in fragment two which will update the text of text view in fragment 2 there are two text view in fragment 2 text view 1 and text view 2 so it will update their text with a and b then i close this method and there is opening curly bracket to compensate for this closing curly bracket so that's all in the more block extra all these codes are available on my blog which you can see here a link is there in the description now let's come back here in on create I define pane as a new sliding pane layout with context main activity dot this I set its ID to one two three and add it to linear one linear one dot add view pane so I add sliding pane layout to linear one after that I define the fragment one as new fragment one and two as new fragment two then there is this fragment transaction fragment transaction ft is equal to get support fragment manager dot begin transaction and here i add this to the sliding pin layout which is one two three so i first i add fragment one two one two three then i add fragment two two one two three and then i commit this fragment transaction after that i add all the items from map list to the string list title list and description list so for that first i clear the title list then i clear description list then for each item in map list that is for int i equal to 0 i less than map list dot size i plus plus this means for each item in map list i add title list dot add map list dot get i dot get title dot to string so this will add the title of map list to title list and after that i add 
मैप लिस्ट डॉट गेट आई डॉट गेट वैल्यू डॉट टू स्ट्रिंग टू डिस्क्रिप्शन लिस्ट दिस विल एड दी डिस्क्रिप्शन फ्रॉम मैप लिस्ट टू डिस्क्रिप्शन लिस्ट सो इन दिस वे आई क्रिएट टाइटल लिस्ट एंड डिस्क्रिप्शन लिस्ट और लेट्स गो टू फ्रैगमेंट वन एंड फ्रैगमेंट टू फर्स्ट आई विल शो यू द फ्रैगमेंट टू फ्रैगमेंट टू हेयर आई क्लोज द मोर ब्लॉक then i defined a static class fragment2 which extends fragment uh, here i have defined declared text view1 and text view2 and i have this method public view on create view in this method i define a view called view is equal to inflated or inflate r dot layout dot right underscore pane right underscore pane is the custom view whereas this container is the container used here and inflator is the inflator here layout inflator then i define text view 1 as view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view 1 this is the text view 1 in right pane then i define text view 2 as view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view 2 for text view 1 i set text empty and for text view 2 i set text slide right after that it will return the view since this is a view method public view it will return view void methods do not return value view methods will return view so here i close this after that there is one more method in this fragment 2 class this method is public void update text which i used in the more block extra so update text is string title string description here i set the text of text view 1 as the string title and this string description is set as text of text view 2 so this is this method then i close this class fragment 2 and there is opening curly bracket to compensate for this closing curly bracket next is the fragment 1 this fragment 1 class first i close this method then i define this class public static class fragment 1 extends fragment and it has this method public view on create view with all these variables here i define list view programmatically list view list view 1 is equal to new list view get activity then i define an array adapter string called adapter is equal to new array adapter string get activity comma android dot r dot layout dot simple list item 1 comma title list this is the adapter for title underscore list which is defined in or which is created in on create method then i set this adapter as adapter of list view 1 after that i set layout params for list view 1 as new list view dot layout params with width 500 and height match parent okay after this i set on click listener for list view 1 in this on click listener i have this method public void on item click and in this method i set the i use this main activity first i get the main activity in which there is this method called set text which i defined in more block extra so here i use main activity dot set text title list dot get position comma description list dot get position so this will update the text of text view 1 and text view 2 in fragment 2 title list dot get position will be the text of text view 1 in fragment 2 and description list dot get position will be text of text view 2 in fragment 2 then it will return this view list view 1 means fragment 1 will be list view 1 and then i close this on click listener sorry the on create view after that i close this class fragment 1 and there is opening curly bracket for this closing curly bracket so that's all in coding part all the codes which i have used is available here I have provided a link in description. That's all in this video. Thank you very much for watching this.